secrets. So uh, we're going to look at how to add a secret and we use a secret in uh, an application. Um, this is with, we've already set up a cluster with Jenkins X3. We've already, we're using GCP and we've integrated with Google Secrets Manager. That's in the previous guides, that's all set up. If we run, um, we've also created a quick start as well. And we've got this JX3 Golang application, which is running in our staging environment. Okay, uh, JX get applications. We can see this which is running in our environment. If we do QCTL, TL, get pods. Um, let's look in the actual namespace, it's a bit geeky, but we can see, there we go, we've got a pod that's running in there. All right, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna say JX, uh, health status. So right now, um, let's check all namespaces. Everything's looking good. Okay, all the statuses are help helpful. Again, the previous guide, we actually did a, a disaster recovery of this cluster. We deleted it and we've recovered it. So this is everything back to normal again. Applications deployed and running in staging. What we wanna do, this is a very, very simple uh, Golang application that we've got here. Um, We've got a Helm chart that was generated as part of the JX project um, quick start create. So we've got a Helm chart in here. We've got a very simple uh, Golang application. We've also got a Docker file that was added on here. Um, this is using a scratch container, so it's minimal, there's no distribution. Um, that's okay, but sometimes if you wanna do something a little bit more funky, or uh, then you might want to contain like BusyBox or, or I don't know, CentOS, if you want more tools more inside that image. So for the example, what we're gonna to do today is we're going to look at um, adding in a secret for this application that it can use. Uh, we're going to use an example, but we're going to use the Kubernetes documentation to add a secret, a Kubernetes resource for a secret. And what that will do then is when we install this, um, commit this, and it gets applied into our environment via GitOps, we'll notice that Jenkins X automatically replaces the secret YAML that, it, that we add in here with something from external secrets. External uh, secrets. This is automatically installed uh, uh, during the guides we went through earlier, so that all secrets, the real source of truth, are stored outside in a secrets management store, like Vault, like Secrets Manager, or Amazon's Secrets Manager as well. So what this does is we have a con we've had a control automatically installed inside the cluster, which is then we'll look at placeholders in our cluster Git repo to say, okay, a secret is needed by this application, go and get it from Google Secrets Manager or the, se the secrets provider, and then inject it into the cluster so that our application can use it. Why is this so important? Well, because with Jenkins X, everything um, we install into the cluster goes via Git. So all the Kubernetes resources get going via Git. Now, um, secrets, shouldn't ever go in a Git repository. It's dangerous, they, they can be leaked accidentally. Um, and so what we want to do is actually, we're using this external secrets to have these pointers, um, a, a custom resource, and that just tells us where to, what the back end, so in our case, a Google Secrets Manager, where to go and get the real value for, and then it will then create the Kubernetes secret inside the cluster for our application to use. Okay, um, let's go and do a running example and hopefully that'll make a bit more sense. Um, Kubernetes secrets. Alrighty. So let's create a, just a dummy secret. Um, okay, I guess we can do something like this. Oh no. Let's do something even simpler. 
let's do sorry this one here we go uh, let's create a brand new chart um, under templates we're going to do new file secret yaml let's copy paste this so admin top secret that's the username and password now when we commit this we don't want them actually as we said before we don't want to commit real secret values into git but let's just let's type this in um, we're going to do something else we're going to say we're going to have an environment variable so that accesses this secret value in our deployment when we run this so let's go and let's, using secrets as an environment variable okay so let's update our deployment with an environment variable uh here we don't need this extra one secret password okay now we're going to use the secret name of this one here we're going to use the key of password so that when this pod starts in kubernetes should would have a um, secret password environment variable and we'll be able to look at the, the value of it now currently in git we're saying that's top secret this can just we're not this will actually be replaced when we install this by Jenkins X and an external secret CRD will be created instead and we'll be able to populate the real value in Google Secrets Manager, which will then be replicated in cluster. One more thing to do. Let's go ahead and change this because we want to exec into it. Busy box. Oh, actually, I'll we'll just send it to us. Okay, let's go get Mutus. Oh, looks like that tapping's a little off. Let's just double check that, sorry. Okay, get that. Now we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to push directly into the mainline branch rather than do pull requests just to speed things up. Git. That's secret. Push this directly into the mainline. That's going to go ahead and build. X, Y. Ah, we're already running. I think. Yes, we are. Okay, so that's building, and now we're made the pull request onto the um, the clusters Git repository. So let's go and have a little look at that. Let's have a look at this. This is running, it's verifying. You can see the change we're gonna do. It's adding in our version four of this. Okay, this has been regenerated. Let's have a look at what changes. Here we can see the changes that are actually being deployed. So we've got the ingress, okay. The deployment, so we should see our new environment variable. Yeah. Um, service. Now, this is the interesting bit. What's been, rather than checking in our secret, Jenkins X has automatically converted this into a uh, an external secret custom resource. And this has, we've discovered that we're using GCP. Um, this says where to go and find these information from, the keys. So that will get applied, deployed into the cluster, and then we'll be able to populate Google Secret Manager with the real values, the real secrets, so that they don't get stored in Git, and they will be replicated into our cluster by external secrets 
for our application to use. So let's wait for this to get deployed. Moves and deployed. Ah, sorry, I picked actually the wrong one. That was the 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 placeholder for production. I think. Let me just double check. Yes, yeah, sorry. This was the staging one, and you can see the change. The files changed again. It was just because we already applied and installed our application into version three into the staging environment. We just updated it to version four. But you can see these are the diff. This is the diff that we've changed. There's the placeholder, and there's the ex sorry. There's the environment variable on the deployment. And this is the placeholder for external secrets that we've added in. This is automatic. This is not the real secret um, YAML that we added in here. So, okay, that's been merged and now that's been deployed into our staging environment automatically. Um, let's have a look. Um, what we should be able to do, there is a health check for checking the secrets because we want to ensure that our application can be run. GX uh, health, oh, status, sorry. And then all name choices. Okay, excellent. What we're seeing is here, we're missing a secret. We're saying Cuba Healthy is saying that there's an issue with a, the secrets health check, saying that there is no version, there is no secret found in Google Secrets Manager. Again, if you were using Vault, it would be looking in Vault instead. So what we can do is JX um, secret uh, edit with a filter of this one. Oops, sorry. Maybe, uh, let's double check. Ah, sorry, cube CTL, maybe that's the wrong name. Cube CTL get external secrets. And let's go into the correct namespace. Let's edit okay what's the username we want to call so rather than what do we have before we had admin and top secret no we want to have a different username and password so we're going to go uh, foo and bar now what JenkinsX is now doing is using the gcloud commands to be able to populate that secret in Google Secrets Manager. Similarly, if it was Vault or Amazon or Azure, we use the native commands to be able to uh, populate that secret. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and let's cube CTL get external secrets. Okay, now that we don't get that error anymore, it is populated. So what we should be able to do, cube, again, we're in our staging environment, cube, C, cube CTL get secret. There's our secret that has been created. This has been created 26 seconds ago. That was done via the external secrets uh, controller, which is running inside the cluster. It's gone and fetched it from the real value, fetched the real value from Google Secrets Manager. Cube CTL get secret. Ooh. Basic. Let's pipe that to um, you can decode it. So it's in base 64 normally. And so, yeah, well, so that's base 64 encoded. So got a little tool, KSD, to decode it. Here we go, foo bar. That's the real password, username and password we populated into Google Secrets Manager. And that's been then replicated inside our cluster. So we have rather than these values that we didn't want in, we don't want in Git, 
where these real secrets are stored and maintained and managed outside of the cluster. So now, uh, cube ctl get pods, cube ctl exec minus ti bash. So now we've got a, we change it to a CentOS base image. We can exec into this, we can use bash. And let's try and type, let's have a little look at our secret password. And there we go. There's uh, the secret that is stored in Google Secrets Manager replicated inside uh, our cluster for our application to use but the, um, the Git repo that, that manages our cluster does not contain the secrets. Okay, that's, the, uh, that's that uh, uh, bite-sized demo for uh, secrets management. Any questions, please reach out onto the, the community Slack channels or Discourse or anything. Thanks very much.